making mistakes yeah. a lot of the things we did as we started and a lot of people be fearful of when you're starting a brand is well what if i make a mistake and uh, it's not going to go right for me a lot of our successes have been in kind of happy accidents um of things going yeah. wrong like for example right now it's not this pen isn't working don't but, worry well you know come what? on we're getting a it's nice more interesting, we're getting a nice it? graduation in color wow there you go is it fake? I mean, or can what? I have this uh, this one after you finish this? I mean, like, there's, there's, a, there's a special cookie collection. Yes. <laughs> it's going to be worth millions. <laughs> one day. Can I have my milkshake back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that is amazing. That. So tell us, I mean, we talk about the brands, right? The name. So tell us about cookie. I mean, you know, my background is the Asian. So when I saw this name, I was like, oh, that's interesting. We're going to check it out. Yeah. So come on, tell us. So tell me firstly, as you know, from Google, what do you think kooky means from what you Well, come on, when, when the people were having a laugh in the office, all the girls were giggling, say, oh, there's a cookie sample style. Cookie, I said, what cookie? Oh, yeah, I love, because our company is a muffin, right? Yeah. So we're like a cup of cake. was, oh, yeah, cookie is great. And then I look at that and I was hilarious because it's not, it's not cute, right? This is actually, that's why it's an amazing thing because when you hear it, it's almost like sweet and mm. girly, but when you look at the brand, it's straight wear. So the, the shocking impact, right? And how interesting it is. And then you look into the ideas. Mm. I mean, I look on your website, actually the, the name, everything go quite deep. You mean, you Very guys deep. had a- There's a big story to it. Yeah, tell yeah. us. So, you, you first it comes on to kooky, obviously in English is spelled K-O-O-K-Y, which is to mean off the wall and extroverted and personality and different to everybody else. And that's exactly what Nico and myself were during high school, during our school years, we were very different to the environment that we were placed in. Mm. So we were placed in a very highly educational atmosphere where we were told we had to get A star grades, we had to go to the top universities, um, you have to do maths, you have to do science, you're going to be a doctor or a lawyer and kind of the creative vocations were shunned yeah. and Nico and myself were always in the art room, we took to art, was our favourite subject, was our best subject um, but the only ones for us to get full marks though. yeah we're the only people to get full marks no yeah. why but even honestly yeah honestly. sorry you don't look like it <laughs> but I love it we excelled in a time where we were meant to be excelling in other things to other people mm. for other people wow so, so I think our kind of frustrations from that kind of allowed us to be more experimental and creative at school in our art classes and What's even the then, after happened? that happening, graduating, whatever, we were still told that you're not going to become an artist, it's never going to happen. It's so go and do a degree it. where you know you might actually make some money. Um, so Nico went off to Nottingham to do product design, I went off to do architecture at Manchester. Um, but for both of us, it didn't feel right. You know, we're artists at the end of the day and always experimenting. So we came back together and decided after a few kind of annoying visits to galleries and pop-up shops that there wasn't really a brand that allowed us to show off ourselves in terms of what we were. And that's how we landed on Kooky. Um, and it was kind of a eureka moment. You know, we both said kind of Kooky at the same time. Um, we knew what it meant in English. We then went away and we're very fond of anime and manga and Japanese culture. And especially their design. And especially design. And no, we me found, too. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, and it dictates a lot of what we do and we found out that kooky in Japanese means the creative void in all of us so it's the fifth element of Japanese culture um, so it's about using creativity to lift yourself above everything else and that spoke to us completely it was exactly what we were trying to show off as a brand and what our ethics were all about um, and so it was born